Dress is looking a little bad. Relationships are looking a little good. Aspiration unites the hopeful. Not talking about commercial success, but developer engagement. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, I see it. I, I certainly see it in Lustrous. I, I think it's... I think it is interesting, because I, I think that the last spell came out of nowhere. But I guess so did Against the Storm. This is just Confession 1. We're just... We're knocking out a quick one, because we need to... Uh, our our plague doctor died, so we need to we need to rebuild them. That is uh, that is the goal of this stream. Let's see, vintage collection would be nice. But we miss out on the hoarder and a hospital if we go vintage collection. I think we're I think we're better off. Given given our cash flow which will be decent by the time we get back up there. Since we're going to the lair, and our relationships are relatively good, I'm going to go I'm going to go left and then right and then we'll go we'll go assistance. This is nice. This also evens out our stress a bit. Yes. By the way, to those who are to those who are hanging out now, uh we do a pretty good job not killing a lot of our heroes, or maybe we do a pretty j bad job, depending on uh, what you enjoy watching. But if you're at all interested in having naming rights on our Plague Doctor, uh, now is now is the time. We uh, we rarely have we rarely have openings, but we have one right now, and uh, would uh, would love to have someone toss in their name. Or a name for uh, for what we're working with. Let's see. So what's the what's the play here? I guess we just I guess we just do that. I can't I can't promise she won't die a terrible death, but we'll try. The I can fix her stream, indeed, Doppel. That's the second time someone said that it was the I can fix her. When I'm going for the uh, the Steve Austin million dollar man, it it strikes me as as very informative to the fact that I'm I'm out of touch with uh, with this generation. Nine tokens first round. Never seen that before. I I really love this team. I th I think this team comp is like my my absolute favorite. Maybe I should have put this guy on on death door, but since this guy's already gone, I think it's time for us to just burn him to the uh, burn him to the ground. Do we have this have execute? Do do we have execute? We have no. So I could kill this guy. Or I can take one token off this guy and he goes anyways. So we might as well we might as well let this guy go. And and not take the hit from this guy at all. Oh yeah, this the the rot squad was uh, was Baru's uh, go to. I think it's insanely strong. Uh, I will I will cop to the fact that I think that this is one of the best. All right, get out of here, dude. Yeah, his his repost animation is pretty awesome. His prison, apply to attackers, uh, doesn't doesn't really appeal to me. Strange love. I I feel like we uh, we once had an occultist named Doctor Strange Love, 
Let's see. So we go we go left, then right. Did he use bumper crop for for all of them or just the final one, uh, Sinnoh? Because bumper crop, that's uh, that's risky business. Woo. Snappy swig coming in clutch. Gotcha. Uh, the prison, the prison is uh, flagellon only, I believe. Unfortunately, sadly, last one for sure. Nice. Yeah, we've already we're already basically low stress, so let's just zap this guy. Yeah, otherwise, I think it would be uh, extremely potent. Now, when Baru Baru did his uh, his Stygian run, but he for a long time he was trying to do uh, Stygian fresh start, or was it just fresh start? Maybe it was just fresh start cycle. I don't remember which. But did he ever succeed at that one? Because that was uh, that was ambitious to say the least. Deathless is so stupid. <laughs> I mean. Yes, uh, there's quite a bit of uh, Into the Breach on the channel, actually, Saw. If you if you go back, there's a playlist of Into the Breach. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I, I I guess I didn't play that much of it, like, compared to some of the other games that we, we play on the channel. I didn't go too crazy with Into the Breach, but we definitely played... Like maybe maybe twenty hours. Ah, uh, didn't 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 have a chance to to keep up with his exact stuff. I I feel like I would have seen a tweet from him if he uh, if he had done it. I think I think I'd have it's interesting though cuz like when I was doing Stygian runs I I decided at some point that the alchemist plague doctor was too squishy for my taste. Uh and I'm I'm wondering if uh if the same just determination was made by Baru and if, as a result, he went with, uh... I guess we gotta get you dead first. If he went with Surgeon, or if he went with Wanderer. I kind of feel like Wanderer might be... a good call. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. What did I put on you? Didn't put... Where did I put Smoldering Hymnal? Oh, I put it back here. Probably better on... On you. I'm going to try and get the weak tokens here to to deal with Slay the Flashing Blade slightly. For securing the kill, I think that's faster. I was wrong. I remember that he used Man at Arms instead of Leper, I think. Barrison was just too good in the early... Yes, he, he certainly was. Let's see. So I will do... I will do this. Because I want to... I want to get to the Deathless. So I'm, I'm fine with... 
with that, and then I I tend to feel that that getting the weak tokens if we can land them is the best thing to do. Bravo. Now we would have to do ten with this hit. It's very unlikely that we do. We want him to go low without going all the way down. Dear Deathless. And now, now we just want to go to town. The, the leper, as far as tanks go, I generally think of as like the, I think they are the single best tank in the game. We're going to take four. That's fine. We'll take four and we'll finish it off. A little clean up at the end there. Yeah, the Man at Arms. The Man at Arms has had a pretty significant fall from grace in my eyes. Like, still strong, certainly, but not, uh, not nearly on the same level. Let's see. So we can... We don't really have... So I think Smoldering Hymnal is better here. We could... We could toss, toss Stone Mount there. I think we'll probably toss Stone Mount here. Actually, maybe Bugle is better here. Yeah, kind of sad he had to go down. Uh... Yeah, I mean, I, I think for me, it's mostly uh, not getting the defends off of upgraded, uh, his upgraded repost attack feels pretty tough, but gain one missed stun. Pretty unlikely to have any impact, but I don't think we need it either. The, the Arbalist. I I loved the Arbalist. Oh, Abomination. Okay. The the Arbalist was just so strong. Uh I was I was surprised, but but ABO would not stand for Arbalist. I gotcha. Um, yeah, so I I have had I I've had some mixed uh, some mixed feelings about the abomination. I think I ha, were you here when I've talked about my so like I did not like the I did not like the abomination in Darkest Dungeon One, but I love thematically the abomination. Like, I think they're incredibly cool, but I think that the implementation of them was bad. So there's a whole run on my channel, uh, Rose, of Darkest Dungeon 1 where I'm playing Pitch Black Dungeon, which is my uh, my favorite mod for the original Darkest Dungeon. There's, there's like uh, 150 episodes or something like that of it on the channel. So it exists. It's there. <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, so the thing, the thing about the abomination is I didn't like that you didn't have to make decisions about, maybe just try and kill you. Yeah, I guess we do. I, I didn't like that you, you didn't have to make decisions about skills because they only had the eight skills and you had access to half of them depending on your form. What I think they should do is I think they should give them a full complement of of skills where some of them are strong in one form and some of them are strong in the other, but where you can pick 
your where you have to pick kind of the the dynamics of are you focusing on them being a transformed hero mostly or are you focused on them being a not transformed hero i think that would be a much more interesting dynamic but yeah it was it was very very hard to play with them charlatan of contagion is my actual vote for the plague doctor that i wish we could do names that long but that name is uh is too long for comfort we would uh, not be able to make it work let's see we can get ourselves a quick scout or a wheel back we don't need the wheel so we'll take the scout i think we already knew everything yeah we did and then we're gonna go Hospital to hoarder to lair. But yeah, I, I think that the, the Abomination needed a bit more dynamics because it was like they were always the same character and there was no flexibility. Relationships are looking pretty good. We uh, T-Hunter and Paracelsus need a little bit of love. But other than that, we're, we're cruising. And, and also, the, the strongest Abomination skill, for, from my perspective, was their, their whips, chain whip stun, which you you didn't need to transform for, which was a little, little rough. Little rough in the sense that it was so good. <laughs> Do I care about flawed release on you? Still nice to crit occasionally. But what do we have here? I might pick up... We don't really need the stress heal, do we? No, we don't. We're about to go to the hoarder. We might we might pick up like some linseed oil or something. Brace up. There is danger on this path. We have uh we have not fought the warlord. He was a dot dealer crowd control, and if he needed transform. See when I I feel like Here's the thing, Sano. Like, when I... I felt like when I transformed the leper, they did not get significantly stronger. Which was always, like, really frustrating from my perspective. Okay, you are roasted. Like, th their, their skills just got more awkward. <laughs> if length is an issue, I guess RC is the only option. Well, RC, you do not have someone on the squad, so I would be very happy to name them after you. Like I, like I said before, there is uh, there is no better hero to be than uh, than than the Plague Doctor, my my beloved. So yeah, if you want it, you just say the word, RC, and you got it. Also, I don't like that Necrosis skips, uh, skips corpses. I mean, they, they were probably the longest running member of the team, if I'm being honest. Let's see. Kind of don't want you to die until it's your turn. Okay, we got it. And I don't think we're getting a heal. So... I always just gave him those shackles with reduced transformation stress overall, and you just had to lock in stress-reducing quirks. Then he smacks. And just added up the damage trinkets worked well. I I mean, I don't know. Like, I'm... 
Nothing about what you just said I, I think is unreasonable. I just... I, I never found him, even with all that investment, to be... Like, that's a lot to build around, from my perspective. I wanted I wanted him to have a little more dynamics, I guess. Let's see. We can definitely buy a few trinkets. But yeah, I, I, I think there's a there's a potential to create a really cool abomination, and I would love to see it happen. I think that selecting your skills is just a super important facet of the game. So I really, really want to see them allow it allowing that to happen. Okay, so early experiments is nice. But we don't currently have a noxious item. Do we? No, I don't think we do. And you're not selling a noxious item, are you? No. We'll buy the roast pig. We'll buy the smoke bombs. We're broke. We'll buy early experiments just in case. And then armory key. It's a good one. We're not really going to have another opportunity to buy stuff. So I'll grab it. And we'll put that there. That there. All right, well, we're certainly broke. The loathing whispers. Yeah, the musketeer slash arbalist was very strong in the first uh, in the first game. Hope that they make a, a comeback. But right now, I kind of feel like like ranged backline damage dealers with mark synergy like that is relatively well covered. See, who can you take a hit with? Rose? All right, there it is. We need to... Let's see, do we have combat items that will help with pushing back. Not really, actually. Your collection can wait. Press onward. Huh. This is going to be an interesting uh, general. We're going to have to be a little careful. All the melee characters are already added. Yeah, no, I guess you're right. Yeah. Actually, I guess we have a lot of pushback. Within every keep, a general and his loyal lumbering guard. Except for the abomination. Yeah, that's true. This guy got roasted. Might as well weaken up one of these guys. I think this guy's dead before his next turn, so... No point in hitting them. Oh, are we really one-off? We are one-off. Humph. Still really happy about the job done with Crusader. Just feels like a really well-made character. Yeah, hundred percent. I would agree. I think they've they've done a they did an amazing job. I think the duelist is very interesting too. The uh, the duelist is as far as like new characters go. I think a very interesting, very dynamic character. 
just get this guy killed. Man, Lurker was such an exciting trait to get back when the torch actually, like, locked at one. Oh, what a happy memory. I think the expectations were much higher on the Crusader, though. So, I'm glad they nailed it. You can't you can't mess with our boy. Oh, what's that, Sino? I'm curious. Popular through mods, you say? I didn't. I didn't play enough with the mods to really have a good, a good handle. We had the perfect necrosis, but. Yeah, Doppel. I I think what they've said though is that their their goal is to is to bring back all or or nearly all, I think. What are you you're taking 7, you're at 6. All right, we can do this then. Full AoE it. Let's, let's see if we can get a, a weekend. I know it's low percentage chance, but. A slow dissection. Shield breaker. Yes. I, I think shield breaker would be super fun. I never liked the dreams, though. Like, like that dynamic, I felt like changed the game a little too much. The enemy weakens and wanes. Casual 49 point heal. And we're out. Yeah, I, I'd love to see Shieldbreaker, for sure. It was it was good storytelling. I think my issue with uh locking in place is, is pretty good. We don't we don't need to not be in place. But my my issue with the Shieldbreaker was very much that the that the dreams like changed the game in kind of a, an awkward way. Like, like having to play around them was a very big, a very big ask. Oh, resisting the blight there feels really bad. A crit blight, no less. Oh, and the blind doesn't work. Game. All right, this is this is a good configuration for us. A breakthrough. Okay, two blinds, no 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 joy. Fair enough. So he just went. I think we I think we push it all back now.
That is a terrible soil stirs. Like, that's really, truly awful. Uh, all right, we're gonna... So now do we push back fully? Yeah, I don't I don't think there's any way we we avoid. Doing a pushback or our DPS is not fast enough. So we might as well zero everything out and then hopefully we have some fast people going and we can get the last two pushed back. So we're only enduring one. Ah, uh, we will not. Bummer. Okay. The weak the weak helping out there was good. The Falconer. Ah uh, yeah. I remember uh I remember this Falconer you speak of. Okay, we don't want to push back anymore now. Oh, that that is just never landed, has it? Where are you at, Snappy Swig? All right, we get the we, if we get those anyways. We took a bit of abuse here, for sure. Do I think we have the kill anyways? I don't know. This is this is a bit of greed, for sure. I think we just eat the, yeah. I think we get the full heal and then we eat the, the nightmare. All right, that was pretty good. So, okay, so let me go back to this. So, all right, let me take all that. While running through the doesn't, doesn't matter which one, you can approach a group of bandits from the f flock. Uh, and they're slave handlers. Now, for the really cool mechanic, you can encounter them, and there is a possibility that they will have a hostage who will mark himself, stress you, and obviously should not, you should not deal damage to them. Interesting. So wait, so the flock is like a an enemy collective. Let's see, we can get three stress healing, and we get two fights over here. I think this is better. So the flock is the flock is part of the is like an enemy faction that pairs up. Oh, ambush is annoying here. Bravo. Oh, that ignores guard if you're stealthed. Let's just let's just reduce some stress. Yeah, like the blood suckers. Interesting. Wait, does this always this ignores regardless of that? Wow. Okay. I didn't realize that the throne dagger upgraded always ignored. That's nice. 
And there's more. Interesting. Agony by accumulation. Our, what is our stress resist right now on you? It's 25 plus you have the memory, right? Yeah, so 35%. We've gotten pretty lucky. And right now I'm just I'm just slow playing it because she does all the work and the rest seems all good. Like I, I genuinely don't know that it's worth even trying to hit into this guy. I guess we do, but oh I guess okay, I guess I got rid of that. Oh yeah, because her attack takes it off too. That's interesting. Alright, doesn't matter, you're dead. That's the way to do that fight. I never, I never realized. An unexpected find. When you encounter them and succeed to handle them, your characters whom and uh, in the participated in the killing of the members of the flock get the marked by the flock quirk. Oh, interesting. So they, they, do they become hunted and essentially start to have that dynamic too? This is a very low mastery run. Ah, that's very cool. It's a very smart set of mechanics, you know. I like that. Food or in items? I'll just take food. Well, if our stress on this run is any indication, we are we are kind of strong. Stupendous. Didn't quite get there. Ha have they said anything about incorporating modded ones? Or do you think that the person who made the original Falconer mod is probably already working on it and they don't wanna they don't wanna steal their thunder? I kind of feel like that's a pretty tricky thing for Red Hook. They they probably don't want to. They probably don't want to make mods that they're worried that the mod authors, when they start supporting modding, will will make. I think it's the Marvin uh, Co best made mod, but he also worked for a really long time on that mod. It's like the flagship. Got it. Yeah. So uh, the one of the people who worked on so for my for my money the the overhaul mod pitch block Dun pitch black dungeon was the most interesting and transformative mod in the game, and Red Hook actually hired the creator of that, uh, Mister Silvio. They actually hired him, and uh, and he became part of the dev team. And, uh, and was part of the Darkest Dungeon 2 dev team. So, yeah. So so they, they hired the guy for for that particular mod. I haven't heard any rumblings of whether they've done that for other mod authors. So, you know, it's like, it's one of those, it's one of those interesting things, but, uh, you know, they, they certainly were paying attention to the community. That's for sure. Ah, almost. Almost got the guy dead to rights. I'm just, I'm astounded. This, this team is, I know it's only act one, but this team is cruising. In crisis, no gains in I do feel like this team has a hard time with the lungs. Ah, not really, actually. As long as, as long as we get Rose popping off, I think it's not too bad. Certainly don't need the wax and oculants. Oh, I'll eat my uh, eat my words on that one, but and then we did use up smoke bombs, so we'll grab those smoke bombs. Look at the freaking 
stuff that we have been best had bestowed upon us. This is kind of insane. Oh yeah, Fraxis Fraxis did and uh and the the pitchback black dungeon of XCOM from my perspective was the long war mod which uh which is it Pavonis Interactive? Uh they went they went as far as starting their own company around uh around that and Long War 2 was an officially sanctioned mod that Fraxis collaborated with the creators of the original mod. So to say the least, there is definitely uh, a lot of, I think, game developers that appreciate the, uh, that's, you're blind, so let's not. Should have, should have reblinded him. Long War was so good, RC. It really was. It's, I, I was never good enough at it. But it was, it was just so, so fun. Like, like, that is a hard, Long War was a hard mod, to say the least. Hard, hard mod to, to beat. I had to save Scum pretty, uh, pretty intensely to, uh, to, to survive it at all. Let's see. Okay, so you're... You're not necessarily roasted. We have so many of these. I'm just going to spend some. The unrelenting application of violence. You got it, RC. Yes. I, I, I assumed that was the case, but... Uh, I, will, uh, I will do it. In fact, let's do it right now. Let us wait no longer. RC3, newest member. Now, as a reminder, we do still have one more person to with naming rights. We uh, we did not name our duelist, so we may need to we may need to figure that out at some point. The Farmstead DLC, really. My my recollection was that they they are still employed by by Red Hook and are part of the team, but maybe I'm maybe I'm misremembering. You did an Iron Man Long War run? No idea the difficulty. I mean, ooh, that's that is a lot. Let's see. Well, let's let's roll the dice again on this. Ooh. <laughs> that was a lot of aggregate healing. This wound at least has been I mean, I I feel like at one point as a as a test, I tried doing a long war on like the easiest mode, and it was still too hard for me to be able to do Iron Man. But uh, maybe maybe we need to go back and take a look at that. It's certainly in the game suggestions. It's on the list. Let's see. We'll do that. Well, yeah. So, uh, so, I mean, I can. I let me look him up really quickly, just so I'm not speaking out of turn. Uh, uh, okay. So. So currently, Maester Silvio, the creator of Pitch Black Dungeon, is listed as the CEO and dev at Micro Raptor Games. Huh, yeah, so I, I don't know. I, I know that they worked uh, they worked closely with uh, with Red Hook, but maybe they uh, maybe they went their own way. I would I would play any game they they developed because I think that I still think that Pitch Black Dungeon made so many good choices with the uh, with the design and how they they modulated the game. 
Oh, poetry is nothing to sneeze at. It could be. I, I thought he had a hand in DD2, but maybe that was only in my head. The Yips is annoying on RC, for sure. Let's see, what do we got in the Provisioner? I want the Greek Fire. I should probably buy the songbooks. Thunderclaps are really good. Are really good for business too. Let's so let's see who are our uh, we're tempting goblet, which is a little boo hiss. RC and T Hunter, you two are struggling. Okay, you're no longer struggling. So everybody's looking pretty good now, I think. We'll do that. Oh, in lustrous, you are you are being sabotaged, uh, most foul. Let's see, we don't need any of those. None of those are really anything. Do we have anyone that... So one pip, Rose and Jarvis. Yep, Rose and Jarvis look like the candidate. And there we go. How much master do we get? Not very much again. We'll grab Sepsis, Punish, and... Noxious. All roads lead to the mountain, but only one leads beyond. <laughs> that's a that's a terrifying thought. A server having uh, having diarrhea is the stuff of nightmares, to be sure. All right. Uh, last forty minutes. We've just been we've been cruising, doing doing that thing we do. Okay, we just need to use the rest of that stuff. All right, let's get going. 